Hey everybody, and welcome to another JASP tutorial. I have some wonderful news, everyone. <laughs> JASP, the folks at JASP, updated very recently, September 21st, 2021. The folks at JASP just released JASP 0.15. Hell yeah. So we've got a new version, and oh boy, they have added some new fun things. So just to go through the release notes here, and I plan on different videos for various aspects of the new release of this version. So first and foremost, they've added basic plot editing functionality, and I cannot, cannot wait to do a video on that. That's actually probably going to be the next video on the channel because that's that's number one. So we're going to do that, definitely. They've added some new languages. Some of them are incomplete, like Chinese and Spanish, but that's all right. Better support for non-Western uh, systems, excuse me. Um, so using native locale cal characters, uh, which uh, hopefully don't make the whole thing crash, and um, uh, allowing custom fonts and plots, which come back up to basic plot editing functionality, which is amazing they've added some new additions a couple of suggestions have been made uh, to the sem model so define several models mimic model analysis stuff that's in beta latent growth analysis also in beta improve labels and tables which was a suggestion um uh, if you, you click on if you click on these um to go to jazzstats.org slash release notes if you click on these it'll take you directly to the suggestion and then footnote fit table listwise deletion so you can do some listwise deletions T-tests and ANOVAs, there will be a definite video on rain cloud plots. I can't wait. Um, and then the one sample T-test provides location and effect size estimates relative to the test value, which is great. Um, so I can't wait to do that one as well. Distributions, major update, including 23 new and five uh, continuous and five discrete distributions. That's so good for a teaching tool. That's amazing. Learn base. So I believe the binary classification was already there. I can't remember what I've done, but you can check my uh, channel for a couple of videos that I devoted to trying to learn Bayesian statistics using the learn base module. And I can't wait to go through the rest of these in case all of these are new. I don't know if I'll go through the edge case scenario and aesthetical fixes for binomial estimation. That must have been it, actually, not binary classification, but binomial estimation. So that's the one I did on my channel uh, a couple of, a few months ago. But I'm, I'm excited to go through these. So stay tuned for a new Learn Bayes set of videos. I'll probably do a video of each of these um, descriptives, dot plots. So good. So there'll be another. So there'll be a plots video for sure. Uh, we'll probably do some descriptives with stem and leaf. Descriptives can now be transposed, which is awesome. A descriptive table. Distribution plots, regression, adding in inter uh, confidence intervals for Kendall, Spearman, Pearson's partial correlation, categorical variables used as predictors in linear regression. Um, this, this, wasn't, this would give you issues prior. Adjusting the lower limit for we uh, weighted least squares weights. So that was a suggestion. And relaxed error check on covariance matrix, which was also a suggestion. Increased frequencies. So we get lambda for contingency tables and odds ratios for contingency tables, which is great for those of you who do that kind of dichotomous output kind of stuff. Uh, sh show more informative footnote when phi or phi cannot be calculated, depending on how you pronounce that. Uh, factor analysis. Oh, I love this. Uh, sorting loadings in either EFA or CFA. So good. Uh, I don't know if I'll do any video on that. We'll see if I update my EFA, CFA for that. I'll have to go through it because, again, these are all new for me, too. Um, mixed models, changing uh, links for gamma and negative binomial family. I don't do too many mixed models. These mixed models are for random and fixed factor mixed models, not the kind of mixed models that I've talked about on my channel previously, which are a mixture of between and within fixed factor models. So, so not mixed models in the sense of random and fixed. But uh, so that's what this mixed models change is. Uh, expanded robust meta analysis analysis for Bayesian. Um, there's Psych Archive uh, preprint uh, in direct reference to this one. Reliability. I'm, I'm intrigued by this um, these changes to reliability, um, specifically intra-class correlations. I would like to discuss that in my class. So being able to do this directly in the reliability module because they're classical. So this is the frequentist man in me who is uh, really, really happy about, you know, not making it Bayesian heavy, not making it classical or frequentist analysis heavy. You know, there's something for all of us here. Tables now report means and standard deviations in the reliability module. Well, of course, there are other tables. Restructuring R code to improve computational time. I assume this was an issue before. I never had come to it. Even when I was doing the previous reliability JASP module on my channel, uh, this wasn't really an issue. Um, and then reduce the JASP file size produced by sampling, because especially if you're doing something like intraclass or something like that, and you have a lot of data, then that could really bog down your system. And I know this particular computer, you may have seen in videos of, of videos past where I've done like bootstrapping or something and it ends up being uh, a situation where we're just kind of sitting here and do I edit that out? Do I not edit that out? I don't know. Um, and then a, a new Bain um, Bayesian informative hypothesis evaluation for SEM has been added. And then a new module profit for time series prediction. It's a beta just like there are uh, just like the R uh, console is still in beta. So there will be definitely a video on profit. I'm not super well versed in time series, but I can't wait to look at it. Um, and then some bug fixes, which for the most part were pretty annoying. Uh, resize plots are kept after refreshing. Yeah, that was 
uh, that was a, a thing that I, I had run into. So stay tuned, folks, for uh, several new videos. Definitely a plot editing video, probably combined with the chain, the new additions to the descriptive module. Definitely dot plot and stem and leaf. We'll talk about the transposition there. Um, distribution plots. We can now change the bins. Ooh. Oh, so good. Um, so expect a video on that. Expect a new video uh, on distributions going over the 23 continuous and new five, um, five discrete. Expect a rain clouds plot t-test and a one sample t-test. Oh, can't wait. Um, frequencies may do a video on that one. May do a video on factor analysis. Um, we'll likely do a reliability. Um, we'll do so, you know, like at least five or six just on this new stuff in JAP. So I can't wait. So I hope you tune in to those videos as they appear on my channel over the next month or two. That's going to be it for this overview of new features and improvements to JASP 0.15. If you like this video, consider leaving a like. If you like this content, consider subscribing for more of these kinds of videos. Thanks for watching.